Now, after installation of Delphi, you may open some of the programs that uh, you already had prior to the installation and get such an error, the DBX error, that tells you that driver could not be properly initialized and client library may be missing. So uh, what you need to do basically is to download the right version of uh, Microsoft SQL uh, native client. Now guys, these are the few files that will save your life. Now I have the 64-bit the, uh, version over here. These ones here are the 32-bit version. So my laptop is a 64-bit and I will go into this with the two DLL files and the executable files over here. So what do you need to do is uh, you can install these two in any order. There's no big uh, issue over that. So I will execute this. Now uh, I have already installed this and for that reason it gives me the modification otherwise i could just do repair so that i go to the i go we, we go together through the procedures but the new installation will bring you to this dialog box it will go straight to you selecting what you want to install and then you install all the apps it's basically a next next dialog box nothing really you just need to select uh, that you install all the components and when you install that will go through and well finished it will ask you to restart your pc and i will not do that because i have a second one to install after installing the second one then i'll be able to restart my pc and uh, uh, so just before i restart my pc i need to copy these two files and put them in the system 32 folder which uh, we shall do together i already have them installed i already have them copied but i shall take you through the process now this is complete just click on the finish button and like i said it asks us for a restart of our, uh, of our system which i'll say no to so that i can restart this afterwards i need to install this first so i'll do the same thing like i said i already installed it and it will just ask me to modify or repair otherwise if you haven't you just go to the next uh, it's a, like i said it's a next next dialog box just go next and click install and that shall install and click on finish and after that is complete get these two files the two dll files copy them and put them in your system 32 folder in the windows and uh, system 32 folder over here uh, where you have all your files and your dll files and all that so i'll just paste it over here it will tell me that uh, basically I just need to overwrite because I already have it. I already have the file, so I'll just overwrite all. Or I can decide to skip because I already have the files in, so I'll just overwrite and have the two files installed. And that should work the magic. Now the next thing I need to do simply is to restart my PC. Right guys, now after I restart of my PC, I have just opened my application over here. So I'll just minimize that and get my particular connection file just for us to do the test. And yeah, so from here, I need my connection file, which should be somewhere here. Okay, there it is. Now, I get my SQL connection file here and uh, work on my driver. That's my server server name. I need to change that and just to let you understand what I have. Now, take note that I'm running my I'm running on SQL Server 2012 and I had already installed the SQL Server 2012 native client and uh, it didn't work. It, it didn't solve the problem. So at this moment, I'll just put my details in my application over here for the server, the host name changes to that for this particular scenario. I'll just get this copied up. <coughs> Excuse me. And have it over there and I'll change the name of this database to something like, I think I have one called PMS 
and I'll fill the and two. Right. So at this moment, if I try to connect, I should be able, there you go, I should be able to connect to my database. My connection is true over there. Now that solves the problem that we have. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was very useful to you. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you in the next video.